In 1840 the British won big time. So did Maori. In 1840, the British were much more militarily powerful than the Maori in terms of overall resources, technology, and the potential to mobilize a large and professional military force. Maori were well aware of this fact, and therefore keen for a peaceful colonization settlement. The British military had access to superior weapons, including muskets, artillery, and naval power. They also had formal military training, discipline, and extensive practical experience from conflicts worldwide. The British military could also draw on the resources of the British Empire, including reinforcements from Australia or further afield if necessary. The British military had a professional army trained in European-style warfare, which would have provided a decisive edge in open battles. They also had the means to supply and sustain a military campaign over a long period if necessary. The British Navy was the most powerful in the world at the time, giving them a limitless ability to control the seas around New Zealand, deploy forces by sea, launch amphibious assaults on coastal areas, and disrupt Maori trade. Given the broader context and military capabilities of both sides, it is an undeniable certainty that the British would have easily won a war against Maori in 1840. The British decision to sign a peaceful treaty with the New Zealand Maori tribes in 1840, rather than conquer the Maori by force, was influenced by several key factors. 1. The French were showing interest in New Zealand around that time, so the British wanted to preempt any potential French colonization. The treaty would secure British sovereignty in a peaceful manner. 2. By the 1840s, the powerful British Empire was expanding its influence in the Pacific and New Zealand was seen as strategically important. 3. Christian missionaries, who had been active in New Zealand since the early 19th century, advocated for the protection of Maori, opposed violent conquest, and encouraged a peaceful approach to dealing with the Maori. 4. The signing of a peaceful treaty was seen as a way to protect Maori while asserting British sovereignty. The treaty was a legally binding and diplomatic way to transfer sovereignty while maintaining Maori cooperation. 5. The British wanted to secure New Zealand as a place for trade and settlement. Having a treaty would provide a stable environment for British settlers and traders. Signing a peaceful treaty was unquestionably a win-win for both sides. The British desire to avoid the mass slaughtering of Maori was the primary reason they pursued a treaty in 1840 rather than opting for immediate military conquest. If any authority should determine the meaning of the treaty articles, or define its principles, it should be the descendants of the British, not Maori, who were defeated by peaceful means. It is time for the Waitangi Tribunal to be abolished, along with all race-based policies, and let common sense prevail in New Zealand, once and for all. And, it's also time for Rawiri Waititi and his band of merry troublemakers to be kicked out of Parliament for good. Thank you for listening. Geraint, on behalf of Funerate Him.